Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox and you might notice something different. Well, I mean it's not that different, but I'm wearing a piece of Lone Fox merch. My website, LoneFox.com, is launching today and it's actually launching with just the merch pieces that I have been working on for the past couple of months. I am so freaking excited about this and you guys have been asking me for a long time if I'm gonna be doing merch or anything along the lines of that. And it honestly just took me a while because I really wanna design a couple pieces of merch that weren't super merchy. Like whenever you look at people's merch, it just says their name on it and clearly this literally says Lone Fox on it. But I tried to elevate the merch a little bit, make it a little bit more like elevated and cute and everyday wearable. I was very excited with the pieces that I came up with. I designed them all 100% myself. I actually sourced all of the pieces myself, tested out all of the samples, found the embroidery artist, everything I just did myself. I'm just very a control freak when it comes to that and I'm very, very excited to launch LoneFox.com today. There's so much stuff actually coming to the site but the first kind of little launch is going to be the merch pieces. I'm just going to super quickly touch on the merch pieces available that way you can get into watching this apartment makeover video but this is like a big deal for me so I'm actually very very excited about this so the first thing is going to be the signature logo hoodie and I just think it's so cute it has a hand-drawn house and then a little fox as well in an oval it says lone fox established 2018 and this hoodie actually comes in both this kind of soft baby blue color and it also comes in a black color and they're both really really cute i love the way that they look on so yeah this hoodie comes in both the blue and the black in a variety of sizes of course you can find all that information over on the website and then i also have a super freaking cute t-shirt i honestly think that the t-shirt is probably my favorite thing i just love it it is extremely soft and it has a hand-drawn sort of distressed looking visual interest logo that i designed myself on the front of it i actually designed it to kind of almost look like a vintage band tee in a way and i just love the way that it looks and i I also outlined the letters A, R, and T, which kind of put art on there. So it's like visual art, visual interest. Um, I think there's just like a play on words there that I think is super cute. And I could not just put this on a t-shirt. I also had to put it on a reusable tote bag. So these are super, super thick canvas tote bags. And the thing I had to do about my canvas bags was they had to have like the little gusset at the bottom. So there's like a five inch gusset. That way you can open up the bag and you can actually put a ton of stuff in here. It's like a shopping tote. Everything is hand done in Los Angeles, screen printed in Los Angeles, the visual interest lays perfectly on the top of there. Um, so that's one of the tote bags. And I also have one more that has a hand-drawn tool print on it. And I actually designed the tool print myself. I was laying in bed one night. I drew all these little like DIY tools. And I think it's just super cute. I'm gonna be bringing these to the craft store with me. You guys are gonna be seeing them in videos to come. And the last product is just a dad hat. And I wanted to do a hat because I have been recently wearing them so much kind of behind the scenes of my filming because the thing that happens is that my head is the only part of my body that gets sweaty. It is so frustrating. So I've recently recently been wearing a hat just to kind of keep my hair out of my face because once I start sweating my hair starts falling it's not the tea it has a retro kind of cursive font logo which I also drew myself super cute so yeah those are all the pieces in my first little merch launch this seems so so strange to launch a product but I hope that you guys do enjoy the quantities are super low on the items because I did self-fund all of this myself so I'm not the richest person in the world so I couldn't really stock an insane amount so if you do want something definitely head over to the site on um, the link below it is loan Fox.com and pick up some of your Lone Fox merch to be even closer in the Lone Fox family. But that's enough self-promotion. Let's get into today's video. This is going to be a apartment makeover. I'm actually redoing the living room, dining room, and kitchen. So it's almost a full apartment. I'm not really doing the bedroom or bathroom because there are multiple bedrooms and bathrooms in this space. But I had a friend reach out to me and she just moved into a new condo. And I was like, of course I will help you redesign your condo. And I'm really excited. I think you guys are gonna love the outcome. This is like a little sneak peek, but let's get into the video. So I am walking in the space and I'm just gonna give you a quick little overview of what it looks like. It is so bright in here, which is my favorite part about this space for sure. The kitchen is white, the floor is so pretty. There's a lot of really amazing aspects about this like living area. So basically my thoughts for the space, there's also this big kind of like cutout here for the entertainment area. Over in the corner here, you can kind of see a full overview of what it looks like. This is going to be the general area for the living space. So like couches, coffee table, side table, all that sort of stuff. And then you can see up here, this is kind of where the chandelier or light pendant should hang for the table. So we're gonna do a table right here with probably four chairs around it, but basically just like some styling elements for this area. And then this is kind of what it looks like in 360. So if you guys are 
remember in my Bretman apartment series, I actually did a little video right at the beginning that kind of showcased how I designed this apartment and went through the process of mood boarding it and kind of selecting the furniture and why I chose different pieces. And I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of what I did for this apartment because the girl that reached out to me for this apartment, this is almost a design like freelance project for me. If that makes sense, this was not sort of like someone that I came to and was like, hey, can I do your apartment? She sort of reached out. So I wanted to provide her with something a little bit more professional. So this was for the living room space and I didn't do something super, super in depth. So over on the left, I have a couple of inspo photos I pulled from her Pinterest page. This was just gonna give me the tones of colors I wanted to work with. And she is very much into that modern farmhouse aesthetic. She does actually gear a little bit more towards farmhouse, I would say, as opposed to modern. I would say she's like a 60% farmhouse, 40% modern sort of a person, which is totally great. Everyone has their own form of style. But this was something I kind of had to adapt to because as many of you guys know, I kind of design a little bit more modern slash urban slash boho slash farmhouse sometimes. So this was just a little bit more of a challenging project for me, but I think it turned out really, really great. But you're going to see a lot of hits and misses throughout this video, which I wanted to share with you because that is the natural process of design. So these are some pieces I selected for her living room. Now, some of these pieces were actually completely returned. I did purchase them and you're going to see that in the process, but I have a really chunky fuzzy rug here. This is a shag rug from Rugs USA, a couple media console options, um, a nice white couch, which she wanted for sure a little side chair or accent chair, some faux plants. And this was really the design for the living room. Not too much. I didn't want to showcase any of the decor elements or anything like that. This was just going to show where basically a chunk of her money was going to be going because of course she did pay for all of the pieces inside since this was her condo makeover. I also did create one for the dining room. The dining room one is pretty simple, has a couple of inspo photos over here. I know that she wanted to do a wood table. She actually sent me this table and she knew 100% that she did want it. And I wanted to do something with a little bit of a contrasting chair. Originally, she did send over the exact chair set that went with the table, but I was like, let's do something a little bit different. And since there is so much wood in the table, and then of course the wood floors, and we were not going to do a rug because there just wasn't space for a rug under the table. I was like, let's do a contrasting chair just to kind of break up that wood a bit. And we actually were going to do a black one at the beginning, but the black ones we found that would ship in time were just not comfortable enough. So we ended up opting for this vegan leather chair from Living Spaces. And I think it has just enough contrast and I like the metal leg. It kind of breaks up the wood. And then I also love the kind of like the vegan leather on here. This is a really nice chair for the price as well. We X'd out the bench. We didn't end up going with that. And we actually chose a different light, but this was the original light fixture that I sort of sent her. I liked how the black sort of played back to the black on the chair. And last but not least, we have the kitchen space, which this one is the most simple. There's just one inspo photo over here. Her kitchen was almost completely done. Like she had it fully designed herself, but I was just adding a couple of counter stools, which I wanted to opt for something with a bit of texture because the kitchen was very, very white, which I love. So I wanted to add a bit of warmth and a bit of texture. I thought the metal legs played nicely with the ones from the dining table. And then also this rattan top kind of gave a nice bit of texture, of course, and just a little bit of inspo images for the styling. So cutting boards, greenery, things like that. And she has a lot of her own pieces as well. So that was kind of the mood board I sent for the kitchen area. Okay, I'm at a quick red light, but I just went to World Market. This lighting is actually really nice. Look at my skin. It looks kind of glossy. I went to World Market. My car is legit completely filled. Luckily, I got a new car recently. If you guys didn't know, I actually upgraded from my old Prius, which I've had forever, to a Jeep, which is really nice because I do tons of furniture pickups and things like that for my apartment makeovers. So I have all this stuff, but we're going. So I'm gonna see you guys at the apartment. So it is kind of like the first day in this apartment project. I actually went ahead and me and my roommate Marie brought everything in. Well, not everything, everything we picked up at World Market this morning, which I think you guys already saw. We brought it all in to the space so far. And now we're just waiting on a living spaces delivery, which actually has a bulk like majority of the order. It has like two of the couch or both of the couches. It has a coffee table. It has the dining table and just a couple other things. So we're currently just sitting around. I think I'm going to construct the little like counter stool. And then that's really all we're doing today.
Look how cute this bar stool is from World Market. I will make sure to link it below for you guys, but I love the caning on it. And I wanted to just add something with texture as opposed to something without. Living spaces people just got here and they are starting to deliver everything. Um, I got to this table. I'm gonna link every single thing that I bought below you guys. So if you are curious in any of these items, um, you can definitely check them out. With the delivery, basically these couches are way too big for the space. Like there's just a couple of issues. The first issue is, is that this light here, which is where the light fixture is supposed to go, which you can kind of see there, is just too in the center of the living room and dining area. So the table and chairs look great. I really like the way that the table and chairs look. They look perfect. I love the chairs. They look like this, by the way. If you can kind of see the light placement is just too far on the right side because this is where the table should go like if they want me to put the table underneath the light basically the table's in the middle of the space which is just not working and then also this coffee table uh it would be cute maybe in like a i don't even know what kind of home this would be cute in but just not my favorite it looked a lot different online so it's just not my favorite piece and then over here these couches are just way too big like as you can see the depth of this couch is four feet like i've never even seen a couch this deep before it is crazy and then if you were to actually line them up which you're supposed to be the space back here looks like a children's playpen that you're just like to put your child in if you needed to do so you can conjoin these together they can't get out of there like you know it's just there's just a couple of issues so basically we called living spaces we're on the phone with them for the past hour they're actually super amazingly nice to work with we are getting two new sofas the emerson sofa and love seat which are going to be replacing these they're 12 inches shorter on each of them and they're also eight inches shorter in depth so those should actually fit a lot better and the coffee table is going to be picked up got to find a new coffee table there's just a lot of things to do but at least these look nice and the counter stools look nice so we got that so far it is now a couple days after you saw me last time um we are still waiting for the couches to be picked up and re-delivered and all that sort of stuff but um, in the meantime, we're actually gonna stop at Home Goods. We're in a parking garage of Home Goods right now. We're gonna stop there really quickly and pick up a couple of decor elements and just like try to also find a coffee table. Oh my gosh, you guys, so much Christmas stuff. It's found a really, really good coffee table. <gasps> look at it. It's more wood, which I don't know if more wood's gonna look good, but I know that she loves wood. So this looks like it could be a really great option. How much is it? 129, are you kidding me? It has a metal base, a black one. got the base it was 26 i thought it was gonna be like 68 because sometimes these are kind of expensive at home goods when you find things that are made um in other places i don't know why but love this maybe one of these lanterns this is in the christmas section but i think this could look really cute on the foyer table let me grab this candle stand this big candle and this little set of white birch christmas candles because it's almost christmas time <laughs> Okay, got the coffee table, got all these items. We're gonna put it all in the car and then head to Christina's apartment. Stopped by at World Market and just grabbed a couple more things. Got these for the two faux plants, like a tray, some decor, this really cute little wall hanging, a miniature poof. All right guys, once again, with another apartment makeover, we have my car completely filled to the brim. Yeah. Good morning guys, it is day two at the apartment makeover and today it's honestly kind of going to be the major day. I actually was here I think two other days, two full days as well waiting for deliveries and stuff but like those just weren't days that I needed you guys to like be watching me film because I just felt like I came here accepted a delivery and that was really all so i didn't film but i've actually been here a couple more days than i have shown but i think that i shared with you guys like the couch dilemma and i was so anxious about that like i'm a very anxious person to start with so when the couches came and they were not good i was like this is scary but living spaces which this is not sponsored at all 
has probably the best customer service in the entire world. They literally came and picked up the couches, delivered two new ones, and the two new couches are perfect. They are perfect size. Look at the rug. It is an eight by 10, really, really fluffy shag rug, which I think adds so much texture. It looks so pretty with the actual wood floor. I will link every single piece of furniture in the entire apartment and every single decoration in the description box for you guys, of course, because she actually just wanted to start brand new and very fresh with this condo that she purchased. So I figured we would make everything look amazing. So I'm really, really pleased with the couch. They actually came with the pillows, which not a fan of the pillows. So I actually got brand new ones. And then I also went ahead and placed in this little side table. This is from World Market. It has like a wood top and a metal base, which I think is really, really pretty. And then we also have this little chair here. And this I believe was also from World Market. I think it's called the Xander chair. And then lastly, which you guys have not seen is the foyer table. I keep saying that wrong. This table is freaking stunning. I'm obsessed with this. I'm honestly considering purchasing one for my apartment, but I have nowhere to put it. But look at how pretty this wood is, guys. And I also realized it has drawers, which I did not know when I purchased it. I thought it was just like a like a, a wooden piece. This is a light that I picked up. This is actually from Lowe's and I went to Lowe's to pick up something for a DIY project and I found this light and I was like, this would be so cute. She really, really, really wanted a light like this. I suggested a couple other options, but she really wanted one that looked like this vibe. She's really into the farmhouse aesthetic. So I was like, okay, let's do it. The light's gonna go here. It actually has to be swagged over a little bit to like right here-ish and then drop down above the table because the positioning of this light is literally the middle of the living room. Here we have Decor Central, and there's someone literally drilling outside, so sorry about that noise. Oh, it just stopped, thank you. Here's kind of like a glimpse at the decor we're gonna be putting in here. We placed it all out so we can kind of see all of the options. I also got some holiday candles, because how could I not? I mean, just some cute little elements. A lot of this is from World Market, Home Goods, and I think that's really all. We also have a little macrame piece over here, some picture frames. The article pieces just got delivered and we're going to be taking this media console out of the box and then this one up here is actually the floor lamp that's gonna go into the corner over here, but look how cute it's looking so far. All right, so we just had the light installed and it actually had to be installed with like a little chain swag like this just because the lighting position was just too far in like the center. It's literally like on this rug line right here. So this is kind of what we're working with so far. It's looking so pretty. And we also added the media console from Article. And these two big metal pots, I got them at World Market. The other plant I believe is supposed to come on Sunday, but there's a chance it might come after the makeover. So there's a pot there that she could put the plant in. I already told her about that. And they're mounting a TV up here. So we're just gonna do some decorations now. And that is really all. I 
I'm looking fully crazy, but it is raining outside. So this is like the first day in Los Angeles that it's actually rained. So I got wet and my hair did too, which is not the tea. But I'm kind of doing a little bit more of a minimal decorating style in this apartment and not giving it something fully finished like I did with Bretman. Just because she is going to be bringing her own decor and her own books and her own personal belongings and her own pictures and stuff. So I do want to leave spaces for those as well and just kind of give her like an idea of where she could put those once this video is complete and like everything's kind of in place. And now I'm just going to work on the kitchen a little bit. So I'm just going to do a little bit of minimal styling there because she does have a lot of kitchen stuff she said and she has like cutting boards and all those things as well. So I'm just going to add things that I purchased as decor for the kitchen and that is really all for this space. Also the bar stools look so freaking good. I love the texture of these. I mean they still add that warmth element. She really loves the wood that I was talking about prior and then I got this big macrame wall hanging which I think I'm going to put on this wall here where the box is and then this little kitchen sign from Home Goods is going to go right here because she loves that kind of like farmhouse vibe and I thought this definitely pulled that in. So guys, it is the next day now. We finished up last night and I went to go find some sconces to put on either side of the mirror, but sadly, World Market did not have them even though they said that they did online and we called a couple different stores and it's just like an online only item now. So I ended up ordering both of those and she's going to place them on either side of the mirror once they come in. I'll put a little pop-up of what they look like here just so you can get the vibe, but they're not gonna be here for the final clip, sadly. And I'm so excited for this apartment reveal. I just think it turned out so cute and I think you guys are going to love it. So let me share it with you guys in three, two, one. I hope that you enjoyed that one. It was a almost full apartment makeover. It took me a couple of weeks to actually do this. It just took time for the furniture. That is what the sucky part is. It always takes time for the furniture. But besides the point of the apartment, my merch launched. I am so excited about this. I hope that you guys love it. And if you do get a piece, definitely send me a note on Instagram or tweet me or whatever you want to do. I would love to see what you guys get. So again, the merch is available on LoneFox.com or linked in the description box below. Go take a peek and I think you guys are going to love it. So I will catch you all in my next video. Have an amazing rest of your day and bye for now.